Hi, it's Jesse here at BullGrid, and I'm here today to help out another one of our users in the BullGrid support forums. Um, Anita is working on some custom page headers, and uh, they need to know um, how to make different customizations on different device sizes. So you've got your desktop header and your mobile header. Um, and basically, uh, the, the reason that it's not working out the way they expect is because if you only have one header, um, and you rearrange elements on it, it's going to rearrange for all device sizes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so right here, I'm working with um, just one of the sample uh, page header layouts that comes built in with Creo. Um, and so if you use these uh, buttons here, you can switch between the desktop, tablet, and phone views of the different page headers. So if you look at it on a tablet type device, you'll see this. If you look at it on the phone, you see this. Um, and so, so just for example, one thing that you might want to change, maybe you want this menu to be on top of the phone view. Um, so it's a little easier for a thumb to reach or something like that. Um, and so now I switch back to the desktop view and you can see that they've switched places, the menu and the logo. Um, so I'm going to undo that with control Z and show you how we're going to accomplish that. So go down to this menu right here, the, um, the edit section menu, um, and click uh, clone. And so now we have two copies of the exact same header. And what we're gonna do on the top one, we're gonna call the top one our large device header. So I'm gonna go back to that section control, advanced control, and look for this little option right here. I'm gonna move it so you can see. This option right here, the responsive utilities, and so this is our large header, so I'm going to choose to hide it on phones and tablets. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom one, advanced control, responsive utilities, and I'm going to hide this one on desktop and large displays. And so now we, uh, we can only see one of them at a time right now, but they're both here. And when I switch to the phone view, I'm only going to edit the one that's visible on phones. And so if I go back to desktop, I see that this one hasn't changed, but on the phone view, uh, it has changed with those modifications. Um, so that's how you can do that. You can create different headers for different devices and customize them, get them perfect for every size um, without altering your other device sizes. So I uh, hope that helps you out, Anita. Let us know if you have any more questions. We're happy to help.